There are many features of Marfan syndrome that are seen in other conditions. Uh, there are also many features of Marfan syndrome that are pretty common in the general population. It is very important to find someone that can help make those diagnostic distinctions uh, because the specific diagnosis does make a difference with regard to how we care about people. There are people that show the classic presentation of Marfan syndrome where a, a definite diagnosis can be made on the first visit. There are other people that show suggestive features of Marfan syndrome, but additional diagnostic testing might be needed, perhaps a specialized eye exam, for example, um, or molecular testing, DNA testing, might be needed to make a precise diagnosis. But Marfan syndrome is a largely predictable condition. We know what types of problems can occur over time. Uh, but I also want to stress that everyone with Marfan syndrome is different. They're their own individual. And I think that everyone really needs to get a clear message of what issues should be most important to them first. In some people with Marfan syndrome, about 75% of people uh, there is a family history of Marfan syndrome. Other relatives already were known to have Marfan syndrome. And there they're really plugged into the proper support networks. Uh, they uh, can rely on other family members for guidance. But in about 25% of people uh, newly diagnosed with Marfan syndrome, they're the first person in their family that has a change in the Marfan gene. And those people really need to find the proper support systems. Uh, that includes a physician that's going to help guide the process for them. Uh, that also includes a, a support network of people that will help with insurance issues, uh, help uh, with school issues, really uh, help guide the whole process.